in a world where heroes stand tall. What the heck is that supposed to mean? Oh. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Play as adorable hamsters in Disaster Hamsters 2, an epic TTRPG book designed for 5th edition. It's more fun than you can stuff your cheeks with! The book has three parts. Ta -da! Everything you'll need to play as a hamster in 5th edition. A whole sanctuary full of adorable sentient animals for your hamsters to explore. Ta -da! Hold up! Adventure? I'm so confused! How am I even talking right now? I have so many questions! The nefarious scientist Jerry Hilliot has perfected the process of creating sentient hamsters. Now, for a final test, he's dropped his experiments into the sanctuary to see how they fare. Not only must they survive, but they must also defeat the tyrannical kitty Snuggles to escape to freedom. This is awesome! We need your support for Disaster Hamsters 2 to happen. We'd love to have you on the team. Black and white, shades of gray. So dull, lifeless, empty. It's time to put some color in your cheeks. <laughs> Only a hamster has the capacity for a face full of sea in the ultimate proving ground. Do you have what it takes to step into the arena and fill your cheeks? Meet Percy the pirate, Svetlana the scientist, Willie the waiter, Beatrice the burglar. Cheeks! A cheeky card game for all the family. Hi, I'm Rick Lucas, creator of Hipsters and Hamsters an easy to learn deceptively strategic card game for individual and team play. In this video, we'll take a quick look at how the game is played. To begin, each player receives four cards. Now, one of the unique aspects of the game is that it can be won in either of two equally balanced playing styles. Hipsters are all about casting off material possessions. You win as a hipster by having no cards in your hand at the end of your turn. Hamsters, on the other hand, are all about hoarding you win as a hamster by having eight or more cards in your hand at the end of your turn. Your turn will always begin by drawing a card and end by playing a card. And there are four types of cards in the game. Object cards serve as simple discards. No action is taken when an object card is played. Action cards, as the name suggests, cause you to take a particular action when they're played, helping you to either accumulate or get rid of cards. Unlike object and action cards, Calamity cards can be played on another player's turn, immediately before they draw a card. Playing a Calamity against your opponent forces them to take the action on the Calamity card. Comeback cards can be played on Calamity cards. You can use a comeback on a Calamity that was played against you, or even one that was played against an opponent. Playing a comeback makes it your turn. Also, some comeback cards redirect the action on the Calamity card towards you, even if the Calamity was originally played against someone else. That's important, because an action that's bad for an opponent just might be good for you. Hipsters and Hamsters combines easy-to-learn, fast-paced gameplay with dynamic, multi-layered strategy. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you join us as a backer and help us spread the word about Hipsters and Hamsters. From the twisted dreams of James Freeman comes an epic so wild, it just might be true. It starts with the question, what if the cuddly hamsters at the zoo broke out of their enclosure? Maybe they would head to the nearby pond to gather as many of the coveted lotus flowers as they could travel with. In hamster land, lotus flowers are like gold. However, this pond is where the zoo keeps their hippos, who just happen to find this little guy irresistibly delicious. 
As one of six hamsters, will you collect more lotus flowers than your friends? Or will you simply be hippo, hippo food? Hamsters vs. Hippos is a light, press your luck game of tile flipping, point collecting, and hippo avoiding fun that plays two to six players and includes a solo mode. It's so fun that reviewers are lost for words, like Sally Pethugs who says, this is wrong on so many levels. And Jessica Mouselove who says, it was fun until I realized the hippos were eating the hamsters. Or Bob Kissapet who simply shouted, what's wrong with these people? Hamsters vs. Hippos, back it on Kickstarter today. Angry Hamsters, Naked Turtles, Flying Octopuses that love to hug faces, Four Shady Pets have disappeared, and it's up to you to find them. In Pets Gone Shady, two to five players are trying to figure out the secret identities of the four pet cards that are hidden in the mystery card holders. On your turn, draw one action card, then play one action card. Playing action cards will give you hints as to which of those shady pets is missing. There's a shortcut, of course, if you get your paws on the sneak peek card, which lets you look at one of the mystery cards. <laughs> Unless another plays this bad boy first. The facial card allows them to steal the power of the card just played, so they get to sneak peek and not you. It's like having an octopus thrown on your head, sort of. Collect points for finding the mystery pets, then play until all the mystery pets have been discovered. The player with the most points wins. It's Pets Gone Shady with the Unleash Expansion Packs and Angry and Holiday Pets Packs. And don't forget the all-popular octopus plushie you can actually throw at your friends' faces. Get it now on Kickstarter. No octopuses were harmed in the making of the video. Throwing actual octopuses on faces is ill-advised, and if done so, please consult your local doctor. <laughs>